Unit number three, supply side economics. Supply side economics gained its popularity during the 1970s, wherein the US economy was suffering from stagflation. Supply side economics was attributed mainly to two people. One is Robert Mundell and second is Arthur Laffer. So President Ronald Reagan, who was the 40th president of the US, who served from 1981 to 1989, thought of experimenting with this concept of supply side economics so as to overcome the problem of stagflation in the US. The importance of supply side economics is that it aims to reduce taxation rates, further promoting more investment that will in turn lead to increase in employment as well as income. This concept discourages government intervention in economic affairs. Let's understand basic propositions of supply side economics. The first proposition of supply side economics is Laffer curve. This concept of Laffer curve was put forward by Arthur Laffer in the year 1974. Let's understand more about Laffer curve through this diagram which shows the relationship between tax rate and tax revenue. In the diagram, the tax rate is plotted on the x-axis while the tax revenue is plotted on the y-axis. As the tax rate increases, the level of tax revenue also goes on increasing. But this takes place only up till a point. Beyond this point, the tax revenue declines even though the tax rate goes on increasing. At the tax rate R, the tax revenue is the maximum. This distance is shown by RT. After this, any further increase in tax rate will only bring reduction in the revenue. Further, this Laffer curve disapproves the belief that higher the tax rate, higher will be the tax revenue. In fact, there will be many more people who even pay honestly, even at the low tax rates, thus bringing about more revenue in the economy. So this concept of Laffer curve is based on the belief that even, on, even at lower tax rates, there will be people who will be motivated to work hard, thus earning more, investing more, and thus bringing the economy out of recession. Thus, supply side economists believe that providing incentives to invest will lead to more production, more supply of goods and services, which will result in fall in the price level. So this approach will be able to tackle the problem of stagflation. The next basic proposition is taxation and labor supply. So this is another basic proposition that is the tax rate reduction on labor supply. This proposition emphasizes or gives importance to the fact that a fall in the tax rate will result in increase in the labor supply. Further, let's understand the diagram. On the x-axis, we plot output, while on the y-axis, we plot the price prices. We have downward sloping aggregate demand curve and two upward sloping aggregate supply curves, that is AS1 and AS. Initially, the aggregate demand curve will intersect the aggregate supply curve, that is AS, at point E. At this point E, 
the price level is op and the output level is oi now suppose if the government reduces the income tax rates a reduction in the tax rate will increase the labor supply and this will bring about a rightward shift in the aggregate supply curve that is from as to as1 so now the aggregate demand curve intersects the as curve that is the new as curve as1 curve at new equilibrium point e1 at this point e1 the price has fallen from op to op1 while the output level has increased from oy to oy1 this further leads to a reduction in the unemployment rate and solves the problem of stagflation so through this diagram we have understood the effect of tax reduction on the labor supply and the output the next basic proposition of supply side economics is incentive to save and invest the tax rate reduction will increase the incentive to save and invest more the supply side economist emphasizes or gives importance to the fact that lower tax rates on income will encourage more savings further lower tax rate on business profits will also encourage more investment this will result in higher rate of capital accumulation the fourth basic proposition of supply side economics is cost push effect of the tax it is said that the public sector can grow well only if it has large increase in its tax revenue because the increase in its revenue will help the government to finance for various public utilities or activities further supply side economists have pointed out the fact that an increase in tax revenue that is sales and excise taxes by the government will increase the business cost and this will be passed on from the business firm to the consumer in the form of higher product prices this shows the cost push effect of the tax the last proposition is underground economy according to supply side economists higher tax rates will encourage people to operate in the underground economy that is black economy the people will start evading taxes that is people will choose not to pay taxes and moreover income tax department will also not be able to trace it out thus according to supply side economists lower tax rates will not only increase the tax revenue but will also discourage the people from evading taxes criticisms of supply side economics criticisms of supply side economics critics have pointed out that supply side economics failed to produce the desired results let us see few reasons for this the very first one is that there is no guarantee that a fall in tax cuts will promote people to work more and save more in fact many people have only few aims in life their only aim is to achieve a targeted income by working for certain hours a day thus beyond that people will like to enjoy their free time and earn the same level of income as before so fall in tax rates will not bring about any change in the people's style of working the second criticism is that reduction in tax will encourage some people to save more and invest more but at the same time it will also discourage other people to save more for example there was a reduction in tax rates in usa in the 1981 
it has resulted of in fall in the savings rate so there is no guarantee that fall in tax rate will result in more saving and more investment the third point is that the supply side economics fails to estimate the effect of tax cuts on aggregate demand for example if the personal income tax reduces it will increase the disposable income in the hands of people thus leading to more purchasing power in simple words if personal income tax rates fall people will have more income in their hand more income means people will like to spend more that means there is increase in the demand for goods so therefore a fall in taxes will increase aggregate demand for goods further leading to increase in the inflation rates the fourth criticism of supply side economics is reduction in tax increases budget deficits this is because lower tax rates will reduce government revenue and this will increase the budget deficits budget deficits increase when the government expenditure or spending is more than the government revenue this could be proved when president reagan of usa put this concept of supply side economics into practice so after reducing taxes it was observed that the tax revenue had drastically fallen leading to large budget deficits the last criticism is that supply side economics leads to inequalities in the income distribution reduction in tax leads to increasing incomes of the richer sections of the society because it is the rich people who own business firms and so a fall in tax will benefit them more so therefore supply side economics is more in favor of one side that is the richer side thus leading to increase in income inequalities in the economy